Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today is a very exciting day for Pixel users. Now we have Android 14 QPR2 with March 24 feature drop and I have it here on my Pixel 8 Pro to show you each and every new change. So without further ado, let's jump in. Let's start with the build number on the 8 Pro. It's AP1A240305.019.A1 and now let's take a look at the new features. Let's start with the lock screen and the first change is the new animation you get when you unlock the phone with your face. The notifications now animate slowly instead of popping right away on the screen like before. The second change, if you are using this clock design and have your phone set to do not disturb or if you don't have any notifications, now you can see the do not disturb icon on the right and if you have an alarm, you will see it right next to it. Now let's move on to the home screen and the app drawer and the first change when you go to the app drawer now you can see the app names in two separate lines which will give more space to put the full app name instead of getting dots at the end. The second change is the lens and the mic icons are now permanent. There is no need to scroll down first to get access to them but once you swipe up to access the system wide search you can tap on any of these buttons right away. And when you tap on the mic icon from your home screen or from the app drawer, now it takes you to the Google app search instead of launching Google Assistant like before. And for you to start Google Assistant, you need to press and hold on the power button or use the diagonal gesture from the bottom corners. Now let's talk about the quick settings and here we have some new changes. The first one is the expandable Bluetooth type. As you see here, it has a small arrow next to it, which means when you tap on it, it will expand similar to the internet tile. From here, you can turn the feature on or off. You can quickly connect to your previously saved devices or tap on pair a new device to take you to the pairing page under your settings. The only downside here, you will lose the ability to quickly turn off the Bluetooth using one tap. The internet tile also got a small change. If you are connected to a Wi-Fi network, now you have the ability to share the Wi-Fi information right away from the tile by tapping on this button. It will first ask you for the biometric authentication and then take you to the share Wi-Fi page under settings. Another cool feature with this build is the single app screen recording, which I talked about before in my previous videos. When you tap on the screen recording tile, you have the option to choose between a single app or the entire screen. When you choose a single app, it will show you the recent apps screen at the top and the full list of apps at the bottom. When you tap on any of them, it will start the countdown and record the screen. But I found an issue with this feature. Once I quit the app I'm currently recording and then open another one, for some reason it will stop the screen recording, even though it says here the recording is still ongoing. But when I stop the recording and then open the actual video, it says here seven seconds only, even though I recorded for more than 15 seconds. So it seems like on the stable version, it doesn't work as good as the QPR2 beta versions, because when I tried it on QPR2, it was working just fine. I can move between apps without stopping my recording. So I hope Google will fix this bug in the future. On top of this, you also have the ability to share a single app screen in meetings. So for example, here's a Zoom meeting, and when I tap on share screen, I get the same dialog to choose between a single app or the entire screen with the same launcher to choose whatever app I want. The screen casting also got the same feature which is the ability to cast a single app instead of the entire screen but I don't have any available devices to show you how it works but it will simply give you the same exact launcher I showed you with the screen recording feature to choose which app you want to cast. And the last change in the quick settings, the camera and the mic indicators. When you tap on them, you will see a new card which will allow you to do more actions like the ability to close this app or manage access which will take you to the app permissions page. And finally, you can tap on see recent access and this one takes you to the privacy dashboard. Now let me show you some random new features and the first one is the ability to upload ultra HDR photos like this one or 10-bit HDR videos directly to Instagram if you are using a Pixel 7 model or newer and also the Pixel Fold. But I tried to upload my ultra HDR photos and the feature is not yet available. Maybe it needs some time for the Instagram app to be updated but just make sure you have the Ultra HDR option activated under your Google camera settings by going to Advanced, scroll all the way down, and you will find the Ultra HDR option. 
The circle to search feature we first saw with the S24 and Pixel 8 models is coming soon to the Pixel 7 and 7 Pro models which is a very nice addition. And when you connect your phone to other devices like a PC or another phone for example and then go to the USB preferences page, scroll all the way down you will see a new toggle called charge connected device that you can turn on or off and this one will save you from charging other devices by mistake. When you copy text with the keyboard expanded like in this case you will get the minimized clipboard button tapping on it will expand to the bigger bubble where you can share with other devices or tap on it again to modify your clipboard. The volume slider also got updated and now it appears inside this container to help you see the level but previously the slider was covering the range and it was hard to tell if your phone is on maximum volume or not. I also found the animations of this build to have a slower pace. Let me show you one of the examples. When you go to the wallpaper and the style app you will see things are animating slowly and instead of popping immediately on the screen like before which is similar to the lock screen animation I showed you at the beginning of the video and you will see the same behavior throughout the OS. Moving to the call screening Google added a couple of new improvements. The first one is a new hello chip that appears when you start the call screening and this one might help initiate the conversation in case the caller remains silent. The second one if you have a problem replying back to the other person it will try to say something to buy you more time and one of the examples shown here is one second checking with the person you called so it will give you a bit more flexibility but keep in mind that this feature is only available on the Pixel 6 and newer phones and the Pixel Fold only in English in the US. Now let me show you the new features under settings. The first one when you go to the connected devices page under your settings you will see a new section called previously used with account. So for example if you have any of your accessories already linked to your Google account once you sign in with the same account on a new Pixel phone you will get them automatically showing in this section so you can start the setup process right away and instead of starting the whole pairing process from scratch but unfortunately I didn't get this feature yet on my Pixel 8 Pro. The second change when you go to the app info page under settings and then scroll all the way down now you can see the package name under the version number and also the force stop button got a new icon. Under battery and then battery usage when you open any of the apps now you can see the screen time and the background time in the list and instead of showing under the app name like before also the battery usage settings are now different all we have now is one toggle that you can turn on or off to allow the background usage and if you have it turned on and then go to the uh, sub menu you can see here two options optimized or unrestricted instead of three options like before. Under system the system updates page is now called software updates and when you go inside you have two things instead of only one here you can check for system updates which is the previous page we used to have but you can also jump to the app updates and this one will take you to Google Play Store. Now let's talk about what's new for the Pixel Watch and Google decided to push some of the Pixel Watch 2 features to the first gen model. Unfortunately I didn't get the update yet to show you these features in action but I will create a follow-up video once I get the update and I will also leave a link for this article in the description if you want to go through them for now. Moving to the Pixel tablet there are a couple of new exclusive features. The first one is the ability to minimize the keyboard once you start the assistant voice typing and this is how it looks after you minimize. You will first get a button next to the microphone and then the keyboard will disappear and only this floating bar will appear to give you more space to see what's on the screen. And in Google Docs you have the ability to add handwritten annotations to your document you can use your finger or stylus with a range of tools to choose from including different pen colors and highlighters and here is how it looks in the example photo. Now let's end this video by talking about the performance and battery. So far everything is running really well. I didn't encounter any major bugs that stopped me from using any of the functionalities while filming this video. Plus the device is very responsive and the scrolling is very smooth, no problems and the device temperature is within the normal range I didn't notice anything unusual same for the battery life but I don't have exact numbers to share with you maybe I will talk about the battery life in my follow-up videos in case I found anything unusual but so far 
I think it's definitely recommended to install the Pixel 24 feature drop on your daily driver. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the new features in March 24 feature drop. Please let me know in the comments if I missed anything. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.